is Nacy Glamorina, and um, my career is um, I'm a female impersonator, I'm a go-go dancer, club promoter, and aspiring singer. Very female impersonation like something, it's like something that I'm doing right now. It's not like my high aspirations, you know, it's not like I want to be, you know, the top, you know, female impersonator. I mean, it's, it's, I do it because of the fact that I love to entertain, I like to perform. When I'm out on stage, I feel like, you know, that I'm expressing myself. Um, yeah, I did try to attempt to pursue, you know, a dancing and a singing career, and I'm still doing that. I mean, it's tough, you know. I mean, to pursue a singing career, I mean, it's not easy, you know what I mean? Definitely, you need the money, you need, um, to market yourself, you need people to help you and to get you where you want to go. The business is very unpredictable because sometimes you just don't know when you'll be doing something and when you're not. Everything that I've done has been a learning experience. I'm not where I want to be, but definitely I'm striving for it. My name's David, and I've known AC for about a little more than two years. is the type of person that when he wants something, he strives for it. He's not like the type that'll just try for it and then at a certain point if he doesn't succeed he'll just like overlook that one and go on to the next one and he's like he's really a, a hard-working person because I've seen him promote clubs and I've seen him you know perform at clubs and a lot of people really like him you know they take uh, they take well to him when I'm out there performing I mean um, I'm giving my all my best if you're gonna dress up I mean you know you definitely have to be out there, you have to be extroverted. I mean, why dress up? Dress up if you're just going to be reserved, you know. And you know, now I realize that um, I could get paid for dressing up, and you know, that's like the benefits of like dressing up. His personality is so diverse. He can be like really mellow and quiet, or he can be like the wildest person you've ever, you know, seen. So people take well to his personality because he can, you know, be anything and you know anything he wants to be. He's very open, very open-minded. If you dress up, you can hang out with them. You know, you don't have to be a club kid to, uh, you know, hang out with them. Because I'm, I'm not really the type to dress up. I've only maybe done it once or twice, but it's kind of different because I'm not used to it. You know, but um, as long as you can accept him for what he does, he's open to whatever you do and whatever you like. Great person. He's, I've always told everybody, you know, Nacy's like a one-of-a-kind person that you'll never meet someone else like Nacy. Yeah, everything that I'm doing is you know, I like to think as a stepping stone, you know, because I, eventually I, I do want to do, I do want to prove myself and I, I you know, I, I want to validate myself and I want to move on to different things. Like well, when I was younger, I, I was always, you know, I always felt like I didn't have enough attention, that I was always, I felt lonely, isolated, and you know, I really didn't feel like I fit in. Um, you know, I had a hard time adjusting because we used to move all over California, me and my family. And, um, you know, it was pretty rough because when I went to school, you know, um, you know, a lot of kids didn't accept me. They thought I was weird or they thought I was different. It was pretty tough, you know. I mean, most of the times I was like pretty much to myself, I was like pretty much, you know, a loner. My parents were always busy because they were working, so they were never really there. So all the time that I spent by myself, I I became really creative, and you know, I, I started doing you know artistic things. Like I needed to release my you know frustrations that all the things that I had, you know, that I soaked inside, I just had to release it. And I think you know I did that through you know music. Basically, I, I knew that. Even when I was a little boy, I mean, I knew that there was something different, and I knew that I wasn't like everybody else. I mean, even though I was like a boy and I dressed like a boy, I mean, you know, I, I got involved in like sports and like baseball and stuff like that, but I always felt like, you know, there was something different in me, and I had to question that. I mean, I'm a human being, and I like to be thought as, as you know, nasty, you know, like, you know, just like everybody else. But I respect you. I mean, it should be mutual. You should respect me. But um, in society, I mean, you're never really 
really respected. I think one is one of the greatest um, performance, female performance, um, and she's a great, great dancer. I knew that the performance would be great, which it was. Very 50s, Eartha Kitt-ish, sexy-ish, wild. Everybody's great. Hello, everybody. We are the Wonder Twins. Wonder Twins powers activate. I did okay, but I think I, I could have done a lot better. Girl, we have known Miss Nancy for like almost 10 years. Too long, honey. <laughs> Um, well, right now we're going to um, go to some after hours and um, to some, you know, to some after hours underground clubs. Probably stay up until the wee hours of the morning and call it a night, I guess. She's always hot. She's always on fire. Right next to Glamorina. That's it? 